Let's call her. How about we talk about color? Okay. Thanks, Kyla. Well, I need some therapy. Right. This is interesting. It's our favorite, one of our favorite childhood activities. It's now a full-fledged phenomenon among adults. Coloring books for grown-ups are now six of the top ten best-selling books on Amazon. Millions of copies have been sold since last year. I've seen them in bookstores everywhere. So your good question is, why do adults like to color? And what I'm a is, big what fan. is wrong with us? And look what That's I did earlier. Did you do this? Did you do this? Yeah. During the break. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, how can Heather color and be on TV at the same time? That's um, this is my daughter's coloring book. That's nice. So that's actually yeah. really that's nice. Yes. Now, now, look you did that. At, um, and this, this that's my, really good. <laughs> my sister-in-law did this. Okay, one. yeah. Oh. Very nice. So, but you know, I'm not gonna. But my one, well, you can see my one and a half year old um, yeah, made yeah, some yeah. additions outside the line. This is a full-fledged phenomenon. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, so many of my friends are are buying these books up, and you see them in stores. They have cityscapes, and not only that, you buy them the fancy colored pencils to go along with it. No more Crayola crayons. No, this is the thing. This is now a thing. Six of the top 10 it's selling shocking. books in shocking. Amazon. <laughs> I mean, this guy's jumped on the bandwagon. All right, so too. I was late to this phenomenon, but uh -huh. I saw it over the holidays where uh, we ended up buying a number of these for hostess gifts, for family members, and they're really inexpensive, you know, mm -hmm. 15 bucks or something mm -hmm. like that. Yep. But they are just, they were so popular. Here was where we ran into trouble. These, these mm -hmm. pencils. Now, right. these are. Those are nice pencils. They're, they're those nice. Are, those are the pencils. 20 bucks. I'm not messing around with my pencils. Okay, That's for the one percent. So you're then you're spending. Oh, the one percent. Wait, pencil, okay, if yeah. you're spending hours and hours coloring, thirty five dollars yeah, isn't bad. Is, no, what is wrong with people if they're spending hours and hours coloring? Nothing. Nothing. Do people is not want to grow up? Is this people are <laughs> holding on to their childhood? Most any of us don't want to grow up. No, this. Why do you hate coloring? I'm just asking. I'm posing this the is question. supposed to be uh, the therapeutic, also, isn't it? It sure is. It, it yeah. actually hits a bunch of different parts of our brain: the emotional part, the cognitive part. We talked with an art therapist about this that people can use this as a way to relax, to calm down. I talked with one mom. She said, "Look, this is my time. No one's bothering me. Mm -hmm. I get a break. I get to talk to my friends." I like that you could do it while you're doing something else. Right. If you're, you know, if you are just hanging out with your friends, or if you're sitting out and you're just watching TV, you just want something else yeah. to kind of do while you're watching. And there's so many different kinds. This is the color me happy. Right. Uh, we bought the the hardcore tattoo. Uh, oh, coloring sure. books. So well, you there's, can get them there's all a lot different of different kinds. Kinds. If it of came out books. that one of the people running for president did this in their spare time, how do you think that wins would Iowa caucus? How would that play? Like that. <laughs> Boom, done. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Donald Trump needs this. <laughs> Maybe Donald Trump is coloring. Yeah, he might we, be we doing that. that. He yeah. probably has, you know, he's people doing things all around him. He can color all he wants. Right. <laughs> it would